So here are some of the quantities of interest in rotational motion. We'll start out with angular position, or we can call it angular displacement. As something rotates, over time it moves through an angle. So here we've got a setup of an object that's a distance r from an axis. As it rotates from position 1 to position 2, it travels through an arc length of s. The angle that it traverses in doing this we usually refer to as theta. Theta, of course, that angle is s over r, the arc length, divided by the radius. That formula gives us the measure of the angle theta in radians. How fast does it do this? Well, we often refer to this quantity as angular speed. It's the rate of changing angular position. Conventionally, the symbol that we use for angular speed is omega. As I said, it's the rate of change of angular position, so that's delta theta over delta t, the change in angle with time. Now recall that the angle theta was s over r, the arc length divided by the radius. So the angular speed is the change over time of the quantity s over r. Well, the radius doesn't change in a rotation, what does change is the arc length. So we can pull the radius out of this expression, and what we have is the angular speed omega is 1 over r times delta s over delta t, the rate of change of delta s. Well, the rate of change of delta s is just the speed of the object, how fast it's moving through space. So the angular speed is the tangential speed divided by the radius of rotation, where v sub t is the tangential speed. Why am I saying tangential speed? Because it's just regular old speed. I'm specifying that it's tangential speed, mostly to distinguish it from angular speed. Also, when we get to acceleration, we'll see that it's useful to distinguish the tangential direction from the radial direction as well. The units for angular speed, well, angular speed is the rate of change of an angle. Angles are in radians, so the units for angular speed are radians per second. Well, since a radian is dimensionless, the dimensions for radians per second is just 1 over seconds. Sometimes we'll see it expressed as seconds to the negative 1. Angular velocity specifies the direction of the angular change. So how do you specify what the direction of an angular motion is? Because when an object is rotating, obviously its tangential velocity is constantly changing as it's circling. So is there some way that we can conveniently specify a rotational motion that doesn't change its direction all the time? And our convention for defining this follows the right-hand rule. If you curl the fingers of your right hand in the direction of the rotation and extend the thumb of your right hand, your extended thumb will point in the direction of the angular velocity vector. Notice here that I put the vector arrow over the omega. It shows that it is a vector quantity. The direction of this vector is along the axis of rotation, and the direction is right-handed. So as I said, the rotation axis is parallel to the angular velocity vector. Well, if we have displacement and velocity, do we have angular acceleration? Of course we do. Angular acceleration is defined as the rate of change of angular velocity. So that'll be the change in omega, the angular velocity, with time. Well, as we've seen, the angular velocity omega is the tangential velocity divided by the radius. Again, in a rotation, the radius isn't going to change. The speed might change. So here we see that the angular acceleration is equal to the parallel acceleration divided by the radius. What does this parallel acceleration mean? Well, that's the tangential acceleration. That's the rate at which this orbiting point is speeding up or slowing down. It's the component of acceleration in the direction of the path. This expression is valid for a fixed axis of rotation. If you start to change the axis of rotation, we can still handle that. It just becomes more complicated. And we'll defer that discussion to a later time. The units of angular acceleration are pretty much what you would expect them to be. Since the angular acceleration is the rate of change of angular velocity, it's in units of angular velocity divided by units of time. Angular velocity is radians per second divided by time. That's per second again. So the units of angular acceleration are radians per second squared. Since radians are actually dimensionless, this is also expressed as 1 over second squared, or seconds to the minus 2. 